Welcome back to the weekend warm up, everybody. Same clothes as last week because we're recording them back to back. Maddie's in TO right now, yep. shaking her ass with Drake. <laughs> Let's jump into That's it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Manifesting <laughs> it now. <laughs> Put it out there. Put it out there. All right. Hey, girlies. I love you. Thanks. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question in which I could use some advice. Last week, a friend of mine and I went downtown and she got really loaded and I had to take her home. Our other friend wanted to meet us downtown and couldn't get a hold of us. When I checked my phone, my friend was worried, which is reasonable, but I assured her that I was just taking my friend home to bed because she was blacked out. She got mad at me, saying that she wanted to spend time with us girls, so I invited her over to the house, but she was already mad that the night was over. All I was trying to do was get my best friend home safely. She hasn't talked to me in a week, and when... Oh, fuck. She hasn't talked to me in a week when all I did was get the other friend home. I told her I didn't do anything wrong, and she got more mad. I don't know why she's mad at me, when my friend was the one who wasn't answering. I'm not saying that she shouldn't be mad at anyone, but why is she taking it out on me? Any advice? Love you too. XX. Oh, not the two love yous. Thank you. Um, I think you're fine. You're absolutely yeah, fine. Yeah, like, here's the thing. I think this is the kind of situation that'll probably blow over. Yeah, I mean, I am someone who fucking hates plans changing and like people not getting back to me like it drives yeah. me up the wall um and, and that would be super annoying it would did. be super like, annoying like, i get it i get the anger mm -hmm. it sucks yeah but like a week man come on like two days i think it's a little drunk your friend got blacked out and now you're not you yeah. don't want to talk to them because they had to take her home like like at the end of the day you did nothing wrong you did nothing wrong it's not your fault you know that she doesn't know that. I mean, it's not worth spending your energy it's, on it's something so petty. No, that's the thing. It's just not worth your energy. That's what was your so other option? Stay downtown with your friend blacked out so this yeah, girl could hang out with you guys? And your baby sitting the whole night? Like, yeah. you invited her over. I think you did everything right. Absolutely. I mean, it sucks that it turned out that way, but at the end of the day, a night's a night. A night's a night. And Try again next weekend. Yeah. You really, you really can't get mad at that. Yeah. <laughs> Such a simple one. Hey, besties. Love the pod. Thank you. Thank you. Any advice on how to get over a crush? Met a guy playing rec sports and developed a major crush on him only to find out he has a long-term girlfriend. Ooh. Don't they all? <laughs> Don't they all? Boo. Any tips on how to move on while still seeing this person regularly for sports? Um, tips on how to get over a crush. That's hard. That's tough. Have I ever done it? I don't know. I've done it when they were also single. So I was able to be like, have a conversation with them about it. You know right. what I mean? Like it was like, oh, like I've been rejected and gotten over it, but this is different. Yeah. I've been rejected and gotten yeah. over it. If you can believe out there. If you can believe someone all rejected this. all this. <laughs> um, no. So yeah, I've definitely been rejected, but this, this is different because it's like, oh, they have a girlfriend. They have a girlfriend, you know? Obviously, don't make any moves. Yeah. Very I'll respectful. Be, be respectful of it. Um, Which you already will be. Yeah. Like, you sound like a respectful person. You're trying to get over it. How to get over it and seeing them regularly. I mean, why is my advice always just find a new crush? <laughs> like, you know yeah, what I, I mean? Know. Like, on to the next. That's all you can do. And there's nothing wrong with, like, having a little crush on this person as long as you're respectful, I feel like. Uh, totally. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if people had crushes on my boyfriend and they were like respectful of our relationship i'd be like damn straight i have a crush yeah. on him too you just have to lower the stakes of the crush like make yeah. it more of maybe it's a fun. admiring <laughs> you're admiring him from yeah. afar and you know what babes get on tinder get on hinge yeah. get your tits out get on the gram get get some get rosters going come on yeah. let's let's that get, it just, is you're going to have to find a new crush and you know you never know they might break up you never know. Mm -hmm. They could break up. Don't bet on it. Don't bet on it. But they could break up. So, yeah. I mean, I feel like you got to stick with it. Ride it out. Um, not stick with the crush, but, like, just ride it out, you know? Yeah. Stop listening to sad music. Don't listen to sad. Or maybe listen to a little sad music and then, you know. And then move on. Yeah. Like, have your have your moment. Have your grievance. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, best advice is to find someone else to fixate on. <laughs> honestly, or go really far back on his Facebook and find like really cringy oh shit my God. and get, give funny. yourself the ick or something. That's really funny. Sometimes I, that's what I. I'm try like to wondering do. what rec sport it is. 
It's yeah. it's hard to look cute playing a rec sport, so I'm sure you can find. Yeah, some they must icky be pretty moments. hot. <laughs> yeah, like you can find some icky moments. Um, you can find some icky within moments. the sport. You know what I mean? Or like, I don't know how serious your league is, but like when it's like not that serious and someone takes it a little too serious, I always find that it's like, okay, chill. <laughs> We're playing rec league, king. You know, mm-hmm. hate that. That was like gym class in middle school. Yeah, the worst. Um, All right. But yeah, that's that one. I wish we had better advice for that. It, it's just like, it just sucks. It just sucks. It's one of those things that just sucks and there's not much you can do. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's definitely happened to me in like yeah. high school with like and older also, guys or something. And try not to like uh, stalk him or on Insta or Maybe anything. mute the prof. Maybe mute the profile if it's, you know, if you have to. You have do to. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta and, do. And, you know, he's, he's a friend. Mm-hmm. For now. Unless they break. Like if they don't, unless they don't break up. <laughs> yeah. I've been talking to this guy since October. He lives in Halifax, so I only see him when I'm home on break from school in Ontario. I really like him and we get along really well. I want to tell him how I feel, but I don't know if there's much of a point because I still have three more years of school and I'm only in Halifax for a few weeks of the year. I don't know if he feels the same or if he's talking to anyone else. Love this question because it's not. I don't think it's a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one of those things I'm like, oh, wow, best case a scenario. Super annoying noise I just made. Continue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, this is best case scenario. So it sounds to me you're in first year if you have three years left or like probably you're beginning a degree. Yeah. I'm assuming. So this is kind of best case scenario. You just got a man and Halifax in the back pocket for mm-hmm. when you come visit. Should you tell him how you feel? No. But I would just say, Crank the heat, flirt with him a lot. Yeah, this is good. Crank the heat. Don't Crank tell him heat. because that's I mean, not to be blunt, it is late, so I will be, but there is no point in telling him how you yeah. feel. You know what I mean? I think if you were like, Oh, I have one month left, or like I come home in the summer, or maybe you do come home in the summer, but regardless, you're gonna be in Ontario. Um do I say this? You don't wanna be mm, say it. Say it and I'll correct you. You don't really want to be in a long-term relationship when you're starting a school. Because, and I know that it works for some people, but, like, if possible to avoid, maybe I would. Like, if you're not already in love, don't put yourself in that situation. I get it if you guys were together in high school and you're like, we're we're in love, we've invested time um, into this relationship and making it work and we see a future, blah, 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 blah. You know, stay together through university. I get that. I tried to do that. But... Um, if you have just been like hooking up and like talking and, you know, I think just have it as Doesn't like, Doesn't it just oh. sound like such a fun fling that you can Yeah, have? you could have like a like, hometown sitch. Yeah. And I know that you think, no. no, no, you do really like them. I know that you do. But right now it's just not going to work. You can do a little, romanticize it in your head. Picture it as Love Rosie. Watch Love and Rosie. You know, it's no, a long term. No, a long you need, no. Game, long game. No, this is so such a good thing to bring up because we've never talked about this. Playing the long game. I'm playing the long game right now. Yo, I'm always playing the long game with this one guy, actually. I've been yeah. playing the long game with this one guy. This is us just rationalizing that we haven't <laughs> gone with them yet. We're like, oh no, I'm it's like, the long I'm game. Like, oh no, I'm not too nervous to talk to him. <laughs> it's the long game. No, I do talk to this guy and I flirt with him every time I see him. But it's one of those things I'm like, Okay, I'm not going to message him, but if I see him, it's on. But And it's not like you go cry. cry, No, no, no. no. I'm not saying saying you go wild, you're all over them. No. In fact, you fluff and retreat. Mm. You drop something, a little flirty, say something a little crazy, and then you just never say anything because it's the (laughs) long game. You got to keep them always wanting more. Yeah. Okay? So, like, with this guy from first year, I've talked to this guy. I met him in first year. And I've talked to him three times since. Mm-hmm. Okay. First time was that. And she's infatuated with him. I do think we're getting married. <laughs> I do think we're getting married. And that says more about my delusion than anything else. <laughs> but this is the long game. Because I know our time will come. Yeah. And I know that sounds crazy. And it's like, I'm not like so invested in the fact that like, okay, if our time doesn't come, it doesn't come. Yeah. But. I mean, nobody's been coming around here. Clearly, because we're all trying to play the long game. <laughs> But <laughs> here's what you do. First time I met him, I... You spoke- will be with Quinn. Sorry. 
That one took a couple seconds. <laughs> Quinn, you got to sponsor us. Um, so first time I met him, he was in a long-term relationship. I was visiting his university to visit my friend. We talked the whole night, but he's in a relationship. I don't make any moves, obviously. Mm -hmm. But the whole time he's complaining about his relationship. And I'm like just giving him advice like to deal with the situation. I don't even say break up with him, I don't think. Or with her. Mm -hmm. Which, you know me, like that's... Okay, dump them. Dump you know, them. if you're if you're sitting here complaining the whole night, I don't really see what you're gaining from the situation. Mm -hmm. But I didn't even say it. I was like trying to help him. Fast forward, I see him last summer at a party. Whole time we talk, we go, we leave the party together to go get pizza. Mm, a little date. I'm gonna call it a date. <laughs> don't know if it was. We go. We walk back to the party. SWAT teams there. <laughs> party was shut down so me and him just had to keep walking we just keep walking in circles and then we end up like being Not able to SWAT go back team. yeah the whole SWAT team was there I was like holy were you where I think you were yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but the new house yeah and then um and then I actually haven't seen him since but Guys, unfortunate turn of events. I was supposed to see him on the weekend, then I got COVID. I was I gonna go, go too. I was gonna. Isn't that was, so? Fun? I know, dude. I was and, so excited. That's what I'm, that's for what I'm it. saying. It's, it's just not meant to be. Our time will come. And mm. I was like, I thought I was gonna see him, and then I got COVID. Okay, I'm blabbering here, but all I'm saying is that you need to flirt with him every time you can, spontaneously, and go in hard with it. But then you have to pull away completely. My story doesn't really seem relevant <laughs> because nothing has happened yet. So nothing's proven. But here's here's one. Here's a long term that worked. Here's a long term that worked. I don't know why I'm like the lip gloss today is my prop. My prop today. Um, I was away in Cuba with uh, our friend Maddie and our moms. And we were on a catamaran. And these guys were there. And they were like hot. You know, like they were hot guys. Mm -hmm. They jacked like on the catamaran, whatever. They were like brothers or something. Ooh. The brothers whole are very in right now. Yeah, with the summer I turned pretty. <laughs> Yo, brothers are in right now. So the whole time, like we're not talking to them. We're pretty much actually ignoring them the entire time. But they have like a, a they form like a click because you know when you're like away and you're on a freaking you know little moment, you're having like a catamaran moment, or you get close with like the group that you hang out with that day. But these guys, they had all the bitches. Okay, I'll say it. We don't talk to them the whole day, but I'm like, and our moms are like, if you know my mom, like my mom's like, uh, her first question I always, what's the drum? What's the boy drum? Yep, what's the drum? So obviously um, she's like on my ass about it. She's like, honestly, I could really use a boy drum dump with your mom soon. Yo. Sue, text me. <laughs> text Sue's, me, Sue. Sue doesn't even know what she's in for. Yeah, Sue. Sue you. doesn't even know what she's oh, in yeah, for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but. <laughs> I have to tell her. Yeah, okay. it's brutal. But, um. Basically, we were, but we would like, he would like wink at Maddie, like one of them. And then like, it was just like a whole moment. By the end of it, they get our numbers. We didn't talk to them the whole time. And our moms were on our ass like, um, why aren't you talking to them? Like, make a move and all this stuff. And we're like, we're like, we're playing the long game just because like to get our moms off our back. But this was like the origin of the long game because they still text me to this day every time they're in Halifax and say, do you want to hang? And I was like. Okay, sweet. So I didn't get I didn't get the boys that day, but we got the boys for the, the three years after. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I mean, the long game works because it's like, it just people want what they can't have, yeah, and like they, so it's like a psychological thing. Yeah, it's also really nice to quick point the pure convenience of having someone that you can hook up with every time you go home. It's yeah, so awesome. Like I had the sweetest deal going for like three years. Yeah, what was up with that? <laughs> when I would go home, it was sweet. But what happened? Fizzled out. Wish them all the best. But you know what though? Good could, vibes. Thanks for the good. Thanks for the good out, memes. Fizzle out. But I feel like when you're playing the long game, when it fizzles out, it could always reignite. Oh yeah, this. You I, know what I mean? This. I think this thing could reignite. Yeah, like, <laughs> like it could. It could reignite. So it's like. No, your situation is not a problem. Don't tell him, but just flirt. Like, don't tell him, but tell him without telling him. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, flirt with him. And then go fucking crazy in Ontario, because no one can stop you. Yeah. Live your best single life, girl. Exactly. And 
anything about um, anything we said to the last question about like not having a crush on someone as much might apply here too. Yeah. Yeah. Two birds on stone. Yeah. That's it from us. That's it for this week. This was the weekend warm up. I'm your host, Lauren Landry. I'm your host, Maddie Mills. We'll talk to you at another date. Talk soon. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this week's episode of The Weekend Warm-Up. Make sure you come back on Sunday to hear some more crazy stories. And I hope that this advice paid off. Never know how it really goes. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell button. And if you're listening, make sure to rate and review. And also maybe subscribe. Thanks.